Hi, this is Craig Ballantyne from TurbulenceTraining.com and TTMembers.com and I'm going to explain today what a bodyweight circuit is. We use bodyweight circuits in place of interval training because a lot of people don't have interval training machines at home and don't have the ability to go outside and do sprints. So what we do for bodyweight circuit training is we use about six exercises and we use three upper body exercises and three lower body exercises, alternating between the upper body and the lower body exercises. So we'll start often with a very easy lower body exercise and a very easy upper body exercise. So a Y squat is a nice general, easy warm up exercise to start the circuit. Your hands are up in a Y position, push your hips back and just do squatting. Since we're doing circuits, we're going to do about 15 repetitions because we want to obviously fatigue ourselves with this circuit. Then we're going to go into just a basic push up exercise because it's really serving as a warm up exercise for us. And we'll do about 15 repetitions of that too because we're really using these at an almost an advanced level. So you should be able to do about 15 push-ups. If you can't, if you're a beginner, then use kneeling push-ups. But whatever you're doing, choose an exercise that's not going to make you sore the next day. So our third exercise in the circuit, we'll use something like a lunge, maybe with a bit of a pause down at the bottom to increase the difficulty. And we'll do probably 12 or 15 repetitions for each leg. Again, because we're working through the bodyweight circuit, using it as interval training more as strength training. Using exercises we can do a lot of repetitions for. Then we'll go into another push-up. This time we'll make it harder, so we're going to go with a decline push-up. And we'll do also about 15 repetitions, because after the 15 regular push-ups, 15 decline push-ups will be quite hard. And then we'll go into one more lower body exercise. This time I like to use uh, something that uses a lot of movement, so we might use something like jumping jacks. And we'll do about 60 repetitions of the jumping jacks. Again, because we're using this as interval training, we're not using it for strength training. It's a good way to increase the sweat rate and get lots of calorie burned. And then we'll finish off with a total body abdominal exercise, but because there's so much work here on the chest, holding us in position. We'll call it an upper body exercise and we'll do mountain climbers. Doing about 12 for each side, maybe even 15 for each side. So that's just a six exercise, very basic body weight circuit, very little equipment needed. I mean, you don't even need the bench. You can put your feet up on anything. And that way you can do interval type training anywhere, anytime. All you need is about a six by six area and you can still get interval type cardio training in that will help boost your metabolism and burn fat.